Okay, here we go. I'm not gonna worry too much about how this turns out. Um, let's get started. Hi, my name is Elizabeth Wilson. I'm an associate professor at the University of Minnesota where I work on energy and environmental policy issues. I'm really interested in the transformation of the electricity sector. That means bringing more wind online, that means putting more demand response into the system, that means having energy storage and making our system low carbon, affordable, and resilient. Hey, I'm Liz Canuel. I'm a scientist and my research focuses on the carbon cycle. Most of my work uh, is based in coastal regions such as estuaries. Hi, my name is Greg Sharaklis. I'm a professor in the Department of Environmental Sciences and Engineering at University of North Carolina Chapel Hill, and I work on water. Uh, I'm part engineer and part economist. Uh, I look at ways of improving the efficiency with which we use our limited water supplies. Um, that's both technical efficiency, which means coming up with new devices, new mechanisms that do the same things with less water, as well as uh, economic efficiency, which is making policy choices that ensure that, that society drives the most value from its limited water supply. My name is Liz Hadley, and I'm a paleontologist. A current effort in my lab is to use algae, which many of you may think of as a pond scum or even something that is bad for the environment, but, but actually algae have tremendous benefit. They can remove nutrients such as nitrogen and phosphorus that come from fertilizers from the water and oxygenate the water. And because they're lipid rich or rich in oils, they can also provide a product that can be used for a source of energy. My name is Marty Smith. I'm a scientist and I spend my life using economics to study our oceans. How do we manage fisheries? What's the best way to protect marine biodiversity? What are the costs of polluting our seas? How do we best protect our coastal communities from rising sea levels and storms? I work mostly in caves in India, in Patagonia, and in North America. And in those caves, I excavate thousands of specimens that were deposited in the last 20,000 years. And with those materials, I tell stories about what happened to them in the past, when climates were different, and when the landscape wasn't dominated by humans. I'm Marco Janssen. I'm a social scientist, and I study the ways people cooperate or not when they share common resources. My name is Ted Schurer. I'm an ecologist at the University of Florida. My name is Tracy Holloway. I'm a scientist and I study air pollution. Doing experiments with mobile apps uh, to see what makes it, uh, how can we extend the, uh, the level of cooperation in larger groups in urban environments if we uh, share information uh, with each other and provide incentives to uh, personalize incentives. My name is Jessica Hellman and I'm a professor at the University of Notre Dame. I'm a scientist and I study ecosystems and the environment. I'm interested in how e ecosystems are impacted by climate change and then vice versa how changes within ecosystems actually influence the pace of future climate change. My name is Hope Jaron. I'm a scientist and I study plants. I experiment on living plants and I also experiment on uh, dead plants in the form of fossils. I'm interested in how changes in their environment um, changes how they grow and how they reproduce and, and how they uh, die and become part of the world again. I'm a scientist. Specifically, I'm an ecologist. and That means I study nature, how it works, and how it changes. And I'm especially interested in how nature is responding to human activities like global warming. So to do this work, I spend lots of time outdoors measuring creatures, where they live, if they can live in other places. Sometimes I also work in the lab, studying the genetics of my study organisms and running experiments on them to measure their heat or their cold tolerance. My name is Leah Gerber. I am a marine conservation biologist and I study the ocean. My name is Raghu Murtigude. I'm a modeler actually. Some people say I'm a modeler, not a scientist. I study the earth system, which means I look at everything from the physics, the chemistry, the life, including human interactions in the Earth system. I try to model it. I look at past climates and try to say what might happen in the future. 
Uh, my name is Elena Bennett. I'm a scientist. I study agricultural systems and how we can manage agricultural landscapes to get all of the ecosystem services that we want from those landscapes. So that means how can we get the food production, how can we get the recreation, how can we get the um, pollination, the flood control, how, how can we get those, how can we manage those landscapes to get the services that we want from them. My name is Dawn Wright and I'm proud to say that I'm a scientist and I study the oceans. Uh, specifically I make maps of the ocean floor and I try to understand uh, the structure and the history of the ocean floor, especially in areas that are very, very active, such as places where there are earthquakes, uh, underwater landslides, underwater volcanoes, and the maps that we make help us to understand how the earth works so that we can uh, understand or assuage our curiosity about the earth, but also to come up with ways to uh, protect people who may be in danger uh, along the coasts or out in the oceans. In particular, I develop approaches to protect the ocean by using the best available data that we have and the quantitative tools that we have from the field of conservation biology.